Shalom and welcome to Davar Word. It is my pleasure to share with you what I have discovered in my walk so that we can learn and grow together. Thomas said to Yeshua, Master, we don't know where you are going. How can we know the way? Thomas the disciple is known as Thomas the doubter, the person who doubted. Doubting means to waver, hesitate and be uncertain. Doubt is not rejection of belief, but holding a belief with hesitation and uncertainty. Doubt involves believing something with questions about whether it is really true or not. In fact, doubt seems to lean heavily on belief. Is a person who doubts considered an unbeliever? Is doubt opposed to faith? Doubt is not the opposite of faith. Unbelief is the opposite of faith. The opposite of faith is against believing, being in opposition to believing, fighting against believing, or being resistant to believing. I am sure that the other disciples had exactly the same questions, but it was Thomas who had the guts to blurt out the question. Good for Thomas, he wasn't going to simply sit there silent with unanswered questions buzzing around in his mind. He rejected the resurrection of Yeshua until he could have physical proof from Yeshua himself and not just what other people said. When Thomas received his very own personal revelation, John 20:28 20, says, Thomas said to Yeshua, My Lord and my God, this is the first time that any of the disciples ever came to this exalted conclusion. Thomas later went to India as a missionary and died as a martyr. This is the background of the verse. Yohanan 14.6 Vayomer elav Yeshua Anoki haderek veha emet veha kayim Vayomer means and said Elav means towards him. Vayomer elav Yeshua and said towards him Yeshua. Anoki is I, haderek is the way. Ve means and, ha emet means the truth. Ve means and, ha kaim means the life. During Passover, before we drink the cup, we say Lekayim, meaning to life. Yeshua is saying to Thomas that he is God. Coded in this scripture, Yeshua said, Anoki Ekad, I am one. In Deuteronomy 6.4 and Mark 12.29, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Yeshua revealed to Thomas that He is God. How can God be one and yet be Father, Son and Holy Spirit? Doesn't that make God three? Scripture does say that God is one, unique, the only God there is. Isaiah 48, 16 uses three different terms to speak of the divine. Since the beginning, I have not spoken in secret. From the time it existed, I was there. So now Adonai Elohim has sent me and his Ruach. In Genesis 1, 26, God uses the plural to speak of himself. Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. This plurality does not mean God and the angels, for it is never said that we are made in the image of the angels. There is also no reason for a plural of majesty. The word ekhad often means a multiple of unity, such as one cluster of grapes or one bundle of sticks, instead of yakid, which excludes multiple oneness. Yeshua revealed to Thomas that he is God. Thank you for joining me. I pray that this message inspires and challenges you. God bless you and your family.